This place is strictly out of bounds for camera crews. It's the construction site for the future Berlin nuclear power plant in Bulgaria. A Russian firm is building the facility for Bulgarian utility company NEK. The two 1,000 megawatt reactors will supply electricity to Bulgaria and half the Balkans. The company says the new plant is urgently required to meet the region's energy needs. Our outdated coal-powered plants will have to be shut down by 2016. The growing demand for electricity in Bulgaria and the entire region can only be met by the new nuclear power station. German engineering giant Siemens is involved in the project. Manager Burkhard Heidovich has developed a new generation of nuclear power plants together with a Russian company. The Russians build the reactors while the Germans provide the safety technology. They say the reactors are earthquake proof and in technical terms have little in common with the obsolete Chernobyl type reactors. Two years ago, we installed this modern technology at two sites in China, and those plants have been operating successfully. The new Bulgarian power plant is located next to the Danube River. The largest town in the area is Svishtov. Most residents here make a living from agriculture and wine production. Surveys suggest that around 70% of Bulgarians are in favor of nuclear power, but not everyone has an opinion on the subject. It's a big political issue, but I don't know what I should say about it. Back at the building site. A university professor and two journalists from a local radio station are the most vocal opponents of the plant. The last elections saw their Green Party poll just 10,000 votes nationwide. Instead of more nuclear power, they'd like to see more renewable energy, such as wind power or biogas. Building the new power station, they say, will cost the equivalent of a quarter of the country's national budget. They argue that's too high a price for the struggling Balkan nation. The current calculations do not include the costs for new power lines or for nuclear waste disposal. Our president has just been to Russia, and the Russians want to renegotiate the price. It's going to keep costing us. 2,000 kilometers further west in the city of Essen, we visit the headquarters of RWE, Germany's second biggest power company. The firm has plans for expansion, and project developer Holger Beetz is working on the financing of the Berlin power station. This is a 4 billion euro turnkey deal. That means it will be ready to use when completed. We've had to share the financing with our Bulgarian partners. That's also meant taking out export loans and getting the support of banks and other institutions to develop an overall financing concept. Um ein Gesamtfinanzierungskonzept uh, auf die Füße zu stellen. Anti-nuclear activists in Bulgaria are concerned because the reactors are being built in an earthquake-prone region. They say they know lots of people who lost their lives in the last earthquake in 1977. And they doubt whether the German-Russian technology really is earthquake-proof. The most recent protests against the reactors were several years ago, when around 15,000 people took to the streets. Anti-nuclear activists are now hoping that the global financial crisis will stop further construction. The Bulgarian government is desperately looking for investors. Banks across Europe examined the project years ago, and they all jumped ship. Given the context of the global financial crisis, I don't think RWE is in a position to get such huge sums of money together. I think it'll fail due to the financing. Bulgarian power company NEK provided the financing for the work already underway. If the construction does continue, the project will become a model for further nuclear power stations in Central and Eastern Europe.